This is Revelation 18 and verse 10, and it reads, Standing afar off for fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thou judgment come. I want to say shalom. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Wahaf and double honors be to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, it's the brother Yahweh coming at you with another lesson to edify and comfort the Lord's elect. So Lord willing that this video is edifying, comfort, and exhorting to your brothers as well as your few sisters that listen and learning. The year 2023, the hopeful year that all prophecy be fulfilled. And that's right, we pray and hope that all prophecy come to pass in the time that we're living in. All right, especially in these times. All right, especially in these times. And I want to do a quick lesson on um, on what you just heard me read from Revelation 18 chapter. All right, mainly verse 10, which reads, again, standing afar off for fear, for the fear of her torment, saying, at last, at last, that great city Babylon which is America, that mighty city, and one hour is thou judgment come. All right? And we praying and hoping that that time come very soon where the Lord is going to judge this great whore by thermonuclear missiles, intercontinent ballistic missiles in the time of World War III. And we see that building up. All right? So it's saying that Babylon, Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed in one hour, man. All right? In one hour. And um, due to this article, all right, goes hand in hand, goes hand in hand of what I just read. As it says from newsbreak.com, that's what led me to this uh, lesson from this article. It reads, Putin threatens the West with 20,000 miles per hour meteorite hypersonic nuke that flies into space before hitting anywhere in 30 minutes. Woo. All right. So, a hey, Putin, hey, he's flexing his military might, man. A meteorite hypersonic nuclear missile that flies into space, all right, within 20,000 miles per hour, flies into space before hitting anywhere in 30 minutes, man. 30 minutes. All right, that's why the Lord said in one hour this place is going to come to naught. going to be a desolate wilderness. All right, as it reads again down in verse, um, I'm going to jump down to verse 16. And saying, at last, at last, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. For in one hour so great riches has come to naught. Every Shipmaster and all the companies and ships and sailors, and as many as trade by the sea stood far off, and cried when they see the smoke when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, "What city is like unto the great city?" All right, these nations seeing America being destroyed, because they see that they're not going to be able to make money off America, because America is nothing but a corporation to these other nations. All right, so. They gonna see the the nuclear missiles fall on Babylon the Great. The Lord said in one hour, man. One hour. All right. That's why the scripture said hey, that that they should come as a thief in the night. All right. That they should come as a thief in the night in one hour. All right. Matter of fact, let me keep keep reading. And it says, and they cast dust on their head, and cry, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas. That great city wherein we are made rich, all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness, for in one hour she is made desolate. In one hour, man. And Putin, all right, flexing his military might, saying that he got nuclear missiles that's traveling in, in the speed of 20,000 miles per hour, that once his, once his flies into space before hitting anywhere in 30 minutes, man. All right, so you Babylonians, uh, uh, you you ponder on that. Those that are not right in the spirit, man, 30 minutes for your judgment to come. Putin saying that he have nuclear missile that can land anywhere in 30 minutes. 
and that's the, the and that's these nations, all right, building their plowshares into pruning into sword. This is Joel three and verse ten. Matter of fact, I started nine. It says, "Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles: Prepare war, wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up." And that's what the Lord is doing. He's gathering all these nations for the battle of, uh, of Armageddon in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, man. All these nations are building up their military might. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. That's what Putin is flexing. Let the weak say, I am strong. You see? The nuclear ca capable weapon can be fired at side at outside the earth atmosphere before striking anywhere in the world in less than 30 minutes man less than 30 minutes all right matter of fact let me grab this this is second edra 16 in verse 3 and it reads a sword is sent upon you and who may turn it back a fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? May a man drive away a hungry lion in the wood, or may anyone quench the fire in stubble when it begin to burn? May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. And that's talking about those nuclear missiles that's coming out of those silos, man. The mighty Lord sent the plagues, and who... Is he that can drive them away? So, hey, it's predestined that these nuclear missiles is going to propel Babylon to Greek. The Lord is making a speedy riddance to this place, man. It says a fire shall go forth from his wrath. And who is he that may quench it? You see? So, hey, man, that time is coming. Where the Lord is about to have it where these thermonuclear missiles are going to be shot out of the silo and no, they, they, no one is going to be able to return them back. They're going to hit their mark. They're going to hit their target. And mainly with these nuclear missiles that Putin have, all right, these these nuclear missiles that Putin have is going to hit America. Well, it's these other nations. So within 30 minutes, man, look, listen to that, man, 30 minutes, these people's life is going to flash before their eyes. They said that what? Their face is like, like flames, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Yep, this is Isaiah 13 and 8. And they shall be afraid. Matter of fact, let me start up a little bit. Verse 6. It says, How ye for the day of the Lord is at hand. What's the day of the Lord? All right, day of darkness. All right, the day of gloominess. A day of destruction. And it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. And they shall be afraid. Pongs and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their face shall be as flames. You see? Their face shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. That's right. So that time is coming. Putin threatened the West. With 20,000 miles per hour meteorite hypersonic nuke that flies into space before it hitting anywhere in 30 minutes. Hey, so with that, I'm going to say Shalom. I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashim, Waha Rekakodash. A double honors be to the apostle and the elders of Great Millstone. Keep scribing, brothers, keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom and the Bible ball.